So let me show you guys the damage and we can talk about it a little bit. So this is it, right? We patched it up a little bit, but you know, um, it's mostly just broken. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Bossy here and welcome to another episode of OP Factions on the Pika Network. So this episode, a lot has happened, right? Grace has first and foremost obviously ended and that has left Fate in a bit of a predicament. So keep watching to know what this uh, this predicament is. I mean, I'm sure you guys can guess, but you know, I'm not going to spoil anything. So yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy this video and I'll see you guys in it. Okay guys, so this is a serious video. War is upon us finally. So if you guys press tab or if I press tab, because you guys really aren't, you know, with me at the moment. Um, uh, you guys can see 16 minutes till grace ends. That means 16 minutes till cannoning starts, right? And a uh, good thing for us is that we're, I mean, we have our shield up during this period. So we shouldn't be too, too you know, too down bad. But there's some factions that, that, you know, don't have their shield. But before any of that, before we get into any raiding or defending or, you know, fearing for our lives. Because that's what we're basically doing. Fate is being targeted by every single faction on the server. I'm just saying that I'm just putting that out there and for no reason at all right we might have just ganked every every faction on the server but see that's that I mean like uh, this factions man like why, why are you guys mad it's not supposed to be a 1v1 in every situation right I mean unless unless it's you know agreed upon by the people it shouldn't really be a 1v1 so before that let's just go on top and look at our you know look at our all our walls real fast okay because this is probably the last time we're gonna see them, right? And uh, I should be going fast because 15 minutes, right? Um, so let me do slash fly. And yeah, so these are our walls <laughs> that, you know, hopefully are still here by the end of this whole escapade, you know. Um, hopefully we can survive. Again, we've been getting threats left and right that fate is gonna be the first base down. And as you guys can see, we are F top three at the moment. Um, if the server doesn't freaking lag, we are F top three. Let me, let me, let me, okay, there we go. So yeah, we are F top three with 22 trillion dollars hopefully let me do such near and see look at uh you got pumpkin near us but I, I was here on before and um you know there's a bunch of faction near us you have godzillas which you know should be allies hopefully right and then pumpkins just running by me the goat and then let's do slash f map on real again and then we got godzillas here but trust me there was a bunch of factions i don't know where uh, exactly each of their um you know things are uh, i know that you know uh, basically everyone knows where we are at the moment right and the claims are, are nearby if i go a little bit out now now that we have checked out the walls and stuff right um before we get into the actual you know the grace part of it we need to make preparations right because we're really under prepared if you guys can see my armor i don't really have much going on right so we need a full set of inventory of you know armor look free 350s also found our base right so let's do and tyrants is here yeah everyone really hates us for no reason right guys we don't deserve it all right so let me before we get into it again let me let me get a good inventory going on so let me do this do pv1 you guys can see you know i have all the i have all the gear stacked up you know all the legends kits i've been doing for the past 10 days it's not much but you know should get us by so let me do slash f map off now and uh yeah let me let me grab a decent gear we can you guys can also see i have 11,000 mob coins in the bank right um which should be good let me just run by also the pv2 um now this is a bit of a surprise i'll go more into this next episode right but yeah this is a bit of a surprise here okay pv3 you know we have bows pv4 swords you know we're gonna be probably using a soul sword pv5 you have the axeman stuff pv6 seven you know eight we have all the the on you know unkitted armor we have we have some gapples 10 tools 11 i don't think i have anything in 11 or 12 right cool so now that we have that let me let me get some gear on and uh yeah i'll bring you guys back in a second okay guys now we're fully ready we're fully decked out with all the lord and the legend kits i've been saving up for a bit right it's not the best stuff but we gotta do and we're on the edge of our base you know this base doesn't really have a name um if you guys like to name it be my guest right i i have i have a couple of things in mind maybe the goliath because of all the walls it has or maybe i don't know man but uh you know we are at the edge of our base okay um this is it this is the final stand we have three minutes left and in these three minutes i just wanted to talk to you or introduce you guys to our faction members right and i know we should have done it at the start but the, the thing is people have just been going in and out and in and out and now by the end of the grace these are the people that probably are going to be permanently sticking with our faction right so let me introduce you guys right 
Me, obviously, 1v1, you already know, I'm the GOAT, right? Technically, I'm the leader of the faction, right? But, you know, you know, April just, you know, is power hungry, so she didn't, you know, give me it. You know, it's okay. I, I let that slide. But, you know, um, so I have 1v1 right here. We have the member, Casey. Then we have Evelyn. Um, Evelyn is actually uh, a viewer of mine, I believe, right? So, Evelyn, you know, I see uh, I see them all in the comments every day, right? Um, we got April. We have LMEO. Um, some of these are alts, I believe. Abraham, we have uh, VQ. XE 69 you know and um, these guys are all active members in the faction right here these are the big dogs right um, we also got who else is in here um, we got oxygen we got best cannoner you know Asian thighs we have all these people right here these aren't all the players that we have in our faction because we have a roster right so when you have a roster what it basically is is that it, it like you can switch out people um, you know on the basis that if they're on or off all right so we have a bunch of people in the roster so that's F do roster uh, so F roster list right you can look here we have um you know we have it's it's Veljuk. okay i can't pronounce that i'm sorry we have young ben muddy um general we have asian thighs again zuiz we have uh, i love you juice box up here the goat we have legend uh we have we have liad obviously the, the guy last video right we have okay well i'm not gonna say that but we have all these guys we, right here. We have Spy Tank. Everyone's cool going on. Click, I think, is here too, right? Click is here. That's our co-leader, right? We have, uh, yeah, we have we have a bunch of people chilling, all right? right? So Grace is about to end in, in the next 40 seconds, right? We're going to be on the walls when it does, right? Because even though we have our shield active at the moment, such as who, um, as you guys can see, this is our shield. It's from 9 a.m. to 3 a.m. It's active at the moment, right? So even though it's active, I just want to see who comes to our walls, right? Um, you know, we've been getting a lot of threats. So, so let's wait it out and let's see such f map off so let's start it out man nine seconds three two one gg boys the server is about to go down zero it's at zero now all right so now now we're at something boys now we're at something okay no one's no one's by the walls yet no one's by the balls yet all right um which is good which is definitely what we like to see. I got everything going on, chilling. So if if someone does come to the walls, I mean, we can we can we can tussle down a little bit, right? Okay, guys. So it doesn't seem like anyone is by the walls at the moment. I'm sure they're waiting for our sh our shield to go down because you know it doesn't make sense for for them to be here at the moment if our shield's active, right? So. With that being said, let's get into the next clip. All right, guys. So the grace that we were talking about before was uh, was a fake grace, right? So this is the real grace. Grace is actually now over for real. Man, I found this cannon. We found it actually a bit ago, and we couldn't blow it up. But now that grace is over, um, there's no box around it. Therefore, I, I believe I can just hit it with the 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 segs, you know. And uh, we can get these throwable creeper eggs from the shop. And oh, look at that. Oh, we hit that one, boys. We hit that one. Um, I think this is from the faction poopy pants, apparently. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep buying a couple of these. Um, and yeah, let's just, let's, let's go do. Uh, actually, let me not like waste these, cause these are actually in a pretty different area, right? Cause the thing is, like, I, I don't want to waste any more uh, mob coins, cause we actually need the mob coins for some stuff, right? Um, we were probably gonna need it for, um, you know. Uh, Again, mob coin sets, I guess. All right, so let me grab a couple more of these sags and let's let's uh, let's you know let's kill this freaking base, man. Let's let's uh, drop it down to the depths of Hades. Is anything even working? Oh yeah, it definitely is working. Um, but let's get rid of this uh, this thing right here. You know that that seemed important. <laughs> Did I hit the? <laughs> I hit the faction member a little bit. Okay, that's that's good. Tough love, I guess. Um, uh, and yeah, we're um, we're just. Let me let me hit that. That seems important. Give me a <laughs> give me a heart attack. <laughs> yep. Sorry, bro. <laughs> All right. Now let's grab a couple more from here, and that should do the job. I mean, I don't think we should need any more um, from anywhere else. So let me let me just place that here. Oh, you can't place. Can't place. Why? So um, they were definitely planning to raid us. You know, this is not gonna be successful. Wait. Are these are, you, are these guys just stacking? No, these aren't stacking. So um, hopefully my friend knows how to freaking blow creeper eggs up. Actually, he knows cannons, so you should definitely know how to blow these guys up, right? 
So this is war, yeah, boys? This is what happens when you leave your cannon un unattended with no walls, okay? This is what happens. Exactly what happens. So um, let me let me get that guy over there. And um, yeah, let me just grab a flint and steel. Uh, do I need the pickaxe? I, I mean, I do need the pickaxe, but we have a bunch of those. Let me go in redstone. Let's grab some TNT. And uh, yeah, the pickaxe hopefully doesn't blow up. We don't, I mean, you know what? It doesn't matter, man. Jump! Hit it! Hit it! Hit it! Ah, oh, come on! Come on! All right. So we're just we're just you know we're going to town on this thing. We're going to town on this thing. You know, um, we can't put it on dispensers apparently, which is very interesting. Let's put it up here. Let's hit it down, dude. Creeper eggs don't do much actually. I mean, we're already basically done um, with with our segs, and they're just they're just still they're just still coming. The base still isn't destroyed. You know, it's just giving us everything. All right, let's grab this. Let's let's you know break every single thing. I don't want these guys to have any success whatsoever in even touching our base, right? All right, guys. So this should slow down their progress for a bit. I mean, I don't know what was the important part of targeting. You know what? Let's just just to you know um, put them even further down in the ground. Let me just grab this. I just I just don't want to use too many mob coins. I don't know why. I I guess it's just like you know PTSD from when I was you know a young a young blood on Pika just using mob coin sets and you know that 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 stuff took a lot. So you know these these sex aren't taking too much. But yeah, let me just drop one last one and we should be good after that. Um, I'm just trying to look for something important. Um, it would have helped if I was an actual like cannoner, but you know. Um, again, we're just yoloing it, you know. Us in the Fate faction, we we're just yoloing it. Uh, all right, great. So this this base, I mean, or this thing is just done for right now, right? We got rid of a lot of things up here, uh, but you know, I'm sure it can be rebuilt for these guys. We couldn't get rid of everything, but I mean, if we, I, I mean, we can cannon this whole thing just to just to you know bury it. But you know what? It's it's whatever. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next clip. All right, boys. So now that grace is over, we're actually gonna be starting to mine everything up. All right. So this is gonna be the end of our uh, basically. Well, for right now, it's gonna be end of our farming session. Whatever money um, was to be made has been made already with these spawners. And you guys are gonna be like wait isn't that a bit cowardly i mean you guys are scared you guys are gonna get breached well i mean that's that's sort of the point right like i mean we're not in here to have the most unbreachable base we never said that we're in here to win right and as you guys can see if i do such f top um uh we're i mean we're set we're actually first but now that like we're mine look look at this though um free 350 isn't on whatsoever they have completely mined all this all their spawners right so they are terrified of being raided right just like us right so this is the perfect time for mining spawners right and uh we're actually in our shoot see why do i keep over freaking picking it man we gotta let me grab it let me grab it where is it okay dude i overpicked so much no 134 okay good I, I mean, I think I picked them all up in time. Okay, I should probably stop like just talking and like actually mine correctly. But we're sort of in our shield time, and that's when we're mining. We still have, as of this recording, we still have a couple of hours left before our shield does run out. We have like around five so hours left, and uh, yeah, then it's just gonna be us and the base, and we're gonna see if it's truly unbreachable. All right, guys. So while we're waiting to get raided, or you know, for our shield to drop, I just want to make some things clear. I'm gonna do such PV2, and we have a couple of different rare items here that I said I was gonna go over right so we have the swordsman kit right here and we have the the permanent god rank and the permanent hero rank right so this these were all given to me by April right so big thanks to it what's what's happened here okay I didn't know bats could like do that but anyway so they were all given to me by April. Big, humongous thanks to April, man. She's like top two leaders of all time, excluding me. I'm the top one, obviously, right? But she's a close second. Thanks a lot to April for these gifts, right? But I can't keep them. Now, this is a big pointer I, I wanted to make in my videos. Um, and, and I've just been, you know, going past it. I really don't like accepting presents. And also, it's not because of the, the quality of the gift or anything. I'm sure there's good intentions behind every gift that, that's, that's, you know, usually given to me. But I don't generally accept presents, right? And it's just because... I I want to get to the top by myself right i want to you know i know 
I know people don't have the intention of, you know, just just boosting me, but you know, it's sort of I want to be treated as like a normal player usually, right? And uh, you know, a part of that is just, you know, not getting gifts, not accepting them. And I don't know, I just like the feel of, you know, you know, earning everything by myself. And that's the reason why I usually don't accept presents. Now, as for the X uh, this this one, this one was given to me um for a Christmas present by April and she was giving everyone gifts right so I accepted that because you know it's sort of like a general thing she's giving everyone not just specifically me but these two ones she said I was doing good work around the faction and that's that's the reason why she gave these two, two to me and uh, you know I, I really appreciate it she wanted me to do a giveaway with this hero one so I'm not gonna be keeping this right um, so I'll definitely comply to her request and I'm gonna do a formal giveaway um, in episode 10 all right so I'll give all the requirements then and that's what I'm gonna do with that one for this one here though, I'm giving this back to April, unfortunately, right? I'm gonna be sending this back to her um, and you know, it, it's just too big of a gift, right? I can't keep these things. I, I, again, I like getting, getting stuff by myself. So yeah, I'm gonna be sending this back to April. A humongous thanks to April, man. Um, yeah, she's a great leader, right? And uh, yeah, I again, these gifts mean a big, you know, these gifts are huge for a lot of people. Unfortunately for me, I just, you know, I'm just like that. I'm just built that way. Right? All right, boys. So this is the next day. And um, unfortunately to say, fate got raided, all right? Um, it's a really unfortunate turn of events for us. You know, I was all hyped about saying, oh, this is war. You know, we're going to we're gonna stand up for ourselves. And it didn't happen. You know, we got raided, right? I wasn't on for it, but um, I, you know, I was on for the. So I think we got raided four times, as people are saying. I was on for the first time, or the first two times, I believe, when we got raided. And um, we got split at like, you know, like at one o'clock or at two o'clock at midnight. Wait, no, no, midnight. Two o'clock at night, right? So let me show you guys the damage and we can talk about it a little bit. So this is it, right? We patched it up a little bit, but, you know, um, it's mostly just broken. Uh, yeah, so this, you know, this whole thing got broken, I believe. And then there was, you know, there was a whole this side, I think, that got patched up. But, yeah, boys, we got raided. I mean, you know, we didn't even get to name the base. But, you know, it's, you know, it is what it is, right? So as it's been made apparent from the last clips, we did get raided, right? And I'm just going to go into the more details part of it this time. It's going to be a bit of a commentary type of uh, clip at the moment, right? So we did, uh, you know, receive strikes when we were getting raided. And if you guys, for those that don't know, strikes are basically sort of so you get 10 uh, 10 strikes before you get disqualified and each strike comes because of some sort of you know um uh like some sort of rule breaking that you've done either when you're defending or raiding another faction in in those types of areas if you do some sort of rule breaking then you then your faction basically gets strikes right and uh we got four of them in one night apparently right and i'm i mean two of them I, I mean well okay so most of them were from cannoning i believe one of them was from gen patching or two of them was from gen patching gen patching right so what gen patching basically is is using a gen bucket to patch during an active raid timer i believe and you know we we did that a bit i'm not gonna point to who did it um i'm not gonna say if i did it or not you know i'm gonna leave that up in the air but you know the other the other two were from canoning that's not really my realm at the moment so i'm not gonna speak on that you know we may we might have made some mistakes in how we were making the cannons or where we were claiming the the cannon claims and you know stuff like that so we basically did receive four strikes and each strike is sort of like a penalty right so um after each strike you sort of get a punishment the faction has to deal with you know whether things like you know having no f shield you not being able to raid for a day things like that right so we basically got that and unfortunately right unfortunately because of the strikes some people did end up leaving the more act, uh, active people but you know um hopefully everything turns out fine with them you know hopefully they're allied to faith and stuff and i actually did get the offer to leave but like for me it's sort of like you know fate I want to stay with a faction regardless of what situation we're in, right? And um, I, and I usually have done that if you look in my history, regardless of how much I hate the faction. I, I genuinely tend to stay with them um, because, you know, I feel like, you know, a faction is sort of like, you know, a loyalty type of thing to the team, right? So I'll never really leave a faction just because of like, you know, if we're in the lows or if we're in the highs. But I completely understand the other players that left. But that's my decision. I'm going to be staying with Fates. I think that's about it really, right? Um, I don't think there's anything else that is to be said but in the next video hopefully i can show you guys some clips of the raid actually happening um and and see and dissect what mistakes that i have made personally and uh, yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the rest of the clip team's here let's go oh my gosh i still got these kids on me though come on oh no i'm getting donged i'm getting donged this is bad this is bad this is bad 
yeah so you know a, <laughs> a big faction would usually help us but a lot of the boys are out right now um because of you know yesterday it was it was an exciting raid for me it's like the first time i qev qev first time for me in uh in it was it was my first time like you know uh patching and stuff and i'm gonna be trying to get good at that but um i don't know if i if i don't know if i'll be able to you know um <laughs> at the moment all right okay let me let me see this is this is gonna be always a 3v1 let me let me get this guy come on let's come here let's come here let's one v one all right let me see i already have i'm already a couple sets down but I'll, I'll i'll try my best here um so you know it's it's shoot bro i can't talk right now i literally can't talk it's a, it's a pretty tough one we won that's what i can say q e v oh. Uh, 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 he's in the dunk. Come on, sword skills, do something. What's what's the purpose of training swords if if they're not gonna go? Come on, Q E V. Okay, I gotta repot in a second too now. Um, he did gab before me, which is a very bad for me. I'm gonna knock him back a little bit, and I'm gonna go in. Uh, he's gonna gap now, which is bad uh hello but yeah we didn't really get that factions experience of raiding or like doing anything you know like <laughs> defending uh it was it was really late at night qev um sorry i'm trying to commentate and win this fight which is literally impossible i don't know why anyone would come on <sighs> come on come on come on Let's go. Let's go. It's all or nothing here, boys. It's all or nothing. Actually, no, it's not all or nothing. This is not a 1v1. He, he, uh, he, you know, he, I was talking, I was fighting his friend, and that made me lose a couple sets, too. So, it's not all or nothing. I think I, I think I am dignified to run right now because, you know, he, he did, he did, uh, you know, attack me when it was a 1v1, which, you know, my name is 1v1, you know? Like, you're not supposed to do that. Now, I do say that my name is, a. Uh, you know, two v uh, sorry, six v seven, seven v six. But that's only when um it's it's suitable to me. Right now, it's not suitable to me. Right, so that's that's you know that's why it's out of the picture. But oh my gosh, why did I switch my freaking? Oh, I'm max level fifty eight now. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, uh, uh. See that's why you gotta double shoot. You gotta double shoot because they uh, they they pearl now. They they do the they do the old pearl thing. You know. Um. Let me let me let me see. Oh, dude. See the thing is, I'm beating him, but I don't know by how much. Actually, I don't even know if I'm beating him. That's that's the problem too. If I knew how much I was beating him. Uh. Okay. It's a bad place to be. QEV QEV. I still have a couple sets left though. Um, let me see, let me see. I still do have a couple sets left. Come on, I think I gabbed it for him. If not, then... Ah. Oh, that was close. He did catch me off gap for a second there. He did switch his armor too, so I gotta be careful of that. I gotta literally be quick about it. Come on, hit! What's happening? QEV, QEV. Okay, still have speed and strength, which is good. He's getting literally dong, boys. Gotta let that go a little bit, and now I'm gapped. So, oh man, that's what I want to get. I want to get like a quickie on him, but I can't because I suck at this game. All right, I gotta stop taking hits. I can W tap him like that, and uh, he he uh, he would. You know, I don't think he'd do too good well if I W tap. Come 
Alright. I gotta back him up a little bit. And let me go in. Let me go in. Nah! You can't run after this one, bro! Nah, see, this is this is what I call cowardice at, 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 at its peak right here, man. Come on. I did this whole 1v1. And, uh, you know, your friend attacked me. And I didn't do any fix alls after that. And then you attacked me. And I didn't, like, you know, that's... Dude, come on. This is... This is this is such a bad way to end this fight, man. Come on. All right. Well, I mean, we got some action at least, right? And uh, yeah, um, I do hope you guys enjoy. I tried my best to talk about you know the raid and stuff. Um, our walls seem to be fine, but I'm do I am actually just gonna be staying in fate, right? Um, and we're gonna rebuild, right? We're gonna get up and we're gonna get back up on our feet. You know, raids happen. They're not gonna be the you know the end of the line for us. And uh, yeah, this TBS nav guys, he's pretty ugly. Okay guys, so I did get these keys from doing slash playtime rewards. And you know, it's a menu of like, you know, the more you play, the more rewards you can get. You know, obviously we're trying to get this 300 hour playtime. Play. This is this is way too less. 300 hours playtime and five god, no, you guys gotta up that to like, you know, 20, 30 god keys, bro. 300 hours? Think about that. Anyway, so let's let's get this let's get this going. I got this key from that, and so again, we we're gonna find out. We're gonna do the old trick. Oh my gosh, man! Another cell one. I should have just let it freaking you know go off, right? Um. Uh, so yeah, I hope you guys do enjoy. This guy's asking for a gift. I'll I'll see if I can. I'll see if I have access to give him. Um. I hope you guys do enjoy, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.